Hello, uh, in this lesson we are going to um, work on settings. All right, so first let's add um, admin to the dashboard, uh, which I missed out in the last lesson. So when we refresh it now, we can see we have our navigation. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, generate our, our settings, um, which should have the admin namespace, all right, so settings will have, um, so this settings is on its own, so there's only uh, one uh, instance of settings ever. So it has new, uh, create, edit and update. Okay, so once it's created, you can't delete it, but you can edit it. All right, so now um, I'm going to close this and go into roots, and we are anywhere in here, create resource, resources and that would be for settings all right and this is for um new create uh, edit and update all right so now we can get rid of uh, this and our route is nice and tidy all right so uh for the views we are going to delete some of the views that we do not need there is no create and there is no update view ever so we can delete those all right um i'm going into our controllers for settings and let's not forget to add admin here all right so now we have the groundwork done i'm going to the layout and i'm going to um, copy and paste this line and uh, so dashboard will become uh, setting and so for setting we are using the new um, page okay and that's that's it all right so now when we refresh this page and we click on settings it should take us to the settings page um, new page all right, um, so now I'm going to settings new uh, .html .erb. I'm just going to get rid of this line here. And here we are going to uh, create our form. And since we are going to be sending forms around, we need to have our um, params, okay? So strong parameters. So over here, we require uh, setting and and we want to permit all these fields. So ID is acceptable, we have site name, post per page, under maintenance, uh, prevent commenting. So, so it says site name, post per page. And here we have under maintenance and uh, we have prevent uh, commenting and um, Mr. Comma here. And finally, we have uh, tag visibility. All right, so that's our, our settings parameters, um, something we always do when we send forms um, from the view to our controller. So now for setting, we do this uh, settings.new and we uh, set that to the view. And with that, we can go ahead and construct our form. So the form four, and we have our namespace admin and settings, setting, and then we have do, we yield F and we close this and we end our form here. All right, so to create all the form fields, I'm going to have uh, create a label. And so this is for the site name and put a break. And then uh, copy and paste that. Uh, changes from label to text field. Hold the command and remove this here. And um, that's it. And now we can refresh and we'll have our field there. So we want to do post per page and under maintenance. So I'm just going to copy this paragraph and paste it here. And Code your command key, um, select this two and change it at the same time and post per page. And this is not a text uh, field, this is a number field. So uh, 
NUMB. All right, so now when we refresh it, the number field, you could click here to go up and down, or you could manually change it um, like that. All right, so now we can copy this and uh, copy this, paste it down here, and we can double click, double click, holding command key, and we can change this and we could say under maintenance. So under maintenance is not a, a number field, so we want this to be a checkbox. So this is a checkbox there. All right, so we can copy and paste and uh, change under maintenance. And this becomes uh, prevent uh, commenting. All right, and it's not a checkbox, um, it's a, a select. So we'll do this and for select, we want to put an array in an array and we want to have the label that is shown to people is display but the actual value that you save will be false. And also when you click on the select, that we have to show active and when you click on submit, it submits true. All right, so now when we refresh this, we can see here we have disable and active. Okay, sending disable will send false and active is true. So we'll copy this and paste it down here. We'll change uh, prevent commenting uh, to tag visibility. All right, and just to mix things up a bit, um, I can change this here from disable to active and I can change this to uh, disable. And of course, I need to change this so it's false. And I also want to change uh, this so it's true. So when we refresh the screen, uh, we should have active would be the pre-selected. So that's pretty much um, there. All right, um, so we are nearly there. We just have um, our submit to do. Um, so we're just going to manually create a P here and just uh, so f dot submit and and we can close this here and when we come here refresh we should have our create settings button so when um, the next lesson we are going to work on uh, clicking on submit should uh, go over to our controller and uh, put it in here all right so this is where this lesson ends and i'll see you in the next lesson